Hello, my Kiss Universe. It is Jay with Earthly Kisses coming today with another soap. This is going to be a luxurious, yummy, super bubbly soap. Uh, this soap has coconut oil, olive pomace, rice bran, lard, and castor. I have sugar in my lye water as well as some tussle silk. In here, I've already mixed in my oils, some kale and clay, and some colloidal oatmeal. Fragrance for today is going to be Forever Red. And I believe that's a Victoria's Secret dupe. So, of course, we're going to have a red soap. So, without further ado, we're going to get started. Uh, my oils are at room temperature and my lye water is at about 129 degrees i'm tired of waiting for it to cool down i just made a big master batch of lye so it'll be fine we will work around it everything is well planned out and thought out so i think i'll be okay so if i can move my hand out of the way you can see what i'm doing <laughs> So if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for stopping by and popping in. If you like what you see, just hit the thumbs up down below and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can be made aware of all the new content that is being posted to YouTube. I post videos at the beginning of the week and if time allows, I'll post an additional video throughout the week. If you're an old subscriber, thanks so much for coming back to hang out with me. And leave me a comment, guys. I love to hear what you think about the soap that I made or the content. You know, is the music too loud or whatever the case may be. Just, you know, I just want to hear from you guys. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get this going. Um, this is a mover because it has the sugar in it. And because of the amount of castor that I use. But I love the way the soap comes out. So we're not going to do a whole lot of stick blending. Alright. So yummy. And I'm going to go ahead and get my fragrance in here. We're not doing a whole lot of stick blending. Alright. I'm going to call that list right now. into the main color which is uh, really red mica this is from uh, nurture soaps and this is red vibrance mica also from nurture all right you guys can't see what I'm doing here So this is a restock soap. I've been making this soap for quite some time. And of course we're going to have to give this a good stick blend. Um, but I think I like the, color, the way that color is going to turn out. I was concerned about whether I put enough in here. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. This one definitely does not have enough. This is the Red Vibrance Mica. I 
Oh, I just want to get those clumps down in there so it's not flying everywhere when I come in with the stick blender. And so I'm floated back up to the top. All right, so that's good. And this is going to be white and um, I didn't think I was going to need to use any titanium dioxide but the sugar is uh, helping that to yellow up a bit so we're going to put just a teeny tiny bit of titanium dioxide in there to give that a little help And I'm okay with anywhere from a creamy white to a nice, bold, bright white. I just don't want the glycerin rivers. That's all. Okay. All right, let's get the last of the stick blending in, and then we'll be ready to pour as soon as I find all right so let's get to pouring the soap here i'm hoping that's going to turn white that is awfully yellow I don't, uh, i've used the sugar in this before and didn't have an issue so i don't know what's going on there but let's get started because we're starting to get a little on the thick side um if it continues to play nice we'll do a hanger swirl oh so super creamy i love that color that is awesome Sorry if my hand is in the way here. Now the reason why I'm not doing a direct pour is because I want it to be just thin wisps of white in between the red. Making a mash. And of course, I'm making soap and dandy fern rings. I have to call them back. All right. 
right. So I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Uh, it's another blistery warm day, uh, winter day here. Snowing outside, it's coming down like gangbusters. Big old heavy, fluffy snowflakes too. Save the rest for the top. Oh, pretty full here. All right. Now we're going to take our hanger tool, and I don't have a rhyme or reason about how I'm going to do this, so I'm just going to go in on the side over here, and I, as I make my way down. Call that good. So yeah, just no rhyme or reason, just going in little circles all the way around the mold from the bottom to the top. That's all we did there. So, clean off these edges here. Oh, if I cannot put my spatula in the shoe. that off of there. All right. I'm making more of a mess trying to clean it up. <laughs> All right. I guess it's because, you know, these are new spatulas. I just bought these. I'm not used to using them just yet. They're smaller than what I'm used to. Uh, I don't know if I like them. <laughs> but, you know, when you're making soap, you can never have enough spatulas. Nope. Alright, so let's get the last of this on here and there's not going to be any rhyme or reason to the top of this either. Just get this up in here. I really do hope and hope that this lightens up and it's not this yellowy color. I mean, it's still pretty, but 
I don't know. That's not what I had in mind for my soap. <laughs> That's why I always say soap just has a mind of its own. It's like hair. You wake up, you say, I'm going to wear my hair like this. And your hair said, no, uh -uh, you going to wear your hair like that. All right. Get all of that out of the bowl and into the mold. That's it for that. That's it for that. That's it for that. Soap everywhere over here. Okay, so the camera cut on me while I was putting the most beautiful touches on the soap. I'm just like, oh my goodness, you guys missed it. I'm sorry about that, guys. So that is the finished top. And all we have left to do now is to add the glitter. All right. Now, I did not think out what kind of glitter I wanted to put on top of this. Hmm. I'll bring it back. All right, so we're going to use this uh, right on red. It's a sample pack that I ordered some time ago. I'm going to use a little bit of that and a little bit of some iridescence because I just love iridescence. And I finally got one of these doohickeys to help me spread my glitter because I was just making a mess the last time. And I was like, oh, no, we cannot do that again. So hopefully all goes better this time. Oh, that's much even application. Absolutely. I don't know. It seems to pass through here a little too easy for me, though. And then I was also hoping that I could use that to make a, uh, do a mica line on the soap. I don't know now. We shall see. All right. Okay. Yup, isn't she pretty? And then we're going to put the last touches on her. All right, you guys, I'm gonna call that done and I'm gonna give you a close-up. Okay. All right, that is the remake of The Lady in Red coming to the Earth with Kisses store soon. All right, guys, I'll see you at the cut. Alright guys, if you're still here watching this video, do me a favor, click the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified of all my new videos. I mean, if you watch all of this, you might as well become part of the Kiss Universe. So we're here to cut the Lady in Red Soap. 
it is beautiful let me show you the top it is beautiful hell yeah it didn't turn that pretty white I wanted it to do so pretty love the swirls so pretty okay guys sorry I got mesmerized by the gl glitter I had to do a little mini photo shoot right quick before I cut this cuz it's so pretty okay so anyway the same dilemma that I've always had with this soap is getting it out of the mold so that my ends are not being demolished here and I know it's my recipe I just don't know what part of my recipe it is I'm gonna figure it out but in the meanwhile it's still a fabulous soap I absolutely love this recipe the way it is I really hate to change it just because it won't come out the mold the way I want it to so we'll see I may have this end this end is gonna be mine and you could tell it's already gonna be super and what we got oh it cuts so super creamy beautiful look at that perfect lady in red you see that that's not why I don't understand what's going on there that's white but that's not white the top is not white so uh, yeah we'll see turn out to be but I'm happy with the way this turned out uh, I altered the colors th that I normally use uh, to make this soap because that was all I had <laughs> I order with uh, TKB the colors that I use to make this soap normally instead this time but it's still very pretty soap I love the swirls they are awesome I don't know why my camera is not focusing as it should oh I want it so pretty okay I'm sorry y'all know I can't focus like this you know when they come out so pretty like that it's like I go in a sporing coma or something for those who does who don't make soap sporing is so porn okay all right and it's like I get stuck <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out that way because after I stuck that darn hanger in there I thought about it and I was like duh that was not supposed to go in there it's just a simple drop super super I like that um, marbling look that's going on in there um, that turned out just the way I wanted to remember how I was saying I just wanted the thin wisps of white to be moving about the soap so that turned out perfect actually now if I wind up staying with these colors I think the next time I make this soap I'm gonna make that red vibrance uh, be the base color so that everything else can pop although it is a good contrast still and I do still like it it's super pretty so better and better and better But as you can see, it's it's still very soft. I'm getting quite a bit going on on the cutter here. When I'm using additives like clays, uh, the most that I'll do is a 10% water discount, but I didn't with this soap. Just because here lately, I've been having some funkiness going on down. Okay, so I don't know what is going on with the camera today, but I'm trying to show you this beautiful loveliness, and it's not cooperating, and I don't like it. So that, that one is really cute. It's pretty. <laughs> <sighs> I tell you, I'm going to solve uh, this camera problem soon enough. I'm saving up for it. I am. I am, because... It is nerve-wracking, man. It's either not recording too long. I've never had a problem. Auto okay. I have no idea what is happening with this camera. Every time I try to show you guys the soap, it like goes into a fit 
and a pause like I don't know why it's doing that guys I'm so sorry it's just so pretty it's so <sighs> yeah I'm going to have to solve that problem a lot sooner than I think because there's no way in the world I'm going to be fighting a camera just to do a simple soap cutting section of the video. That is just like ridiculous. It only takes a matter of minutes. Like Anyway, back to the prettiness of this soap. It's a curve. The shimmery spikes, And it's so smooth. That's the only thing I like about that mold. It's when it does work right, you get a lovely smooth edge like this all the way around the soap. It's just getting the soap out of it that's giving me fits. Then I looked into a brambleberry mold, and um, I'm not that certain if I want to shop with brambleberry. Um, I am an avid online shopper. Oh, that one is very gorgeous. Uh, I'm an avid online shopper. I've always been an online shopper. Um, and when I see a company that um, removes reviews from their site, um, I, I feel some kind of way about that. Let's see, can I whack this end off? Nope, can't whack that end off. Can't whack that end off, but it is so pretty. And even if I didn't whack the end off, that back side is really pretty too. So pretty. So, you know, I, um, I'm on the fence on the getting this uh, uh, soap mold from Bramble, Bramble Berry. Um, there's a soap girl whose video that I've watched recently and she used to talk about how much she loved Brambleberry all the time and then all of a sudden it was like pump the brakes y'all didn't get me bogus what the hell is this um and I agree with her 100% like um if you're gonna stand up to your product and everything whether you're gonna do something about the situation she's mentioning or not well she did have a complaint about a product of theirs that she that she bought and she left a review on it because she was having problems with it um and apparently her review uh had been removed because it was a negative review and um I just don't feel that that's necessary for a company, uh, especially when a company is trying to be reputable. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of taken back by that. I don't, you know, I, I feel some kind of way like, you know, if they're going to remove negative reviews, are they selling me a faulty product and they know there's something wrong with their product and they're just going to keep so selling it anyway because the market is there for us soapers? Um, that's a thought that goes into my mind when I see that. You know, what are they trying to hide from us? You know, so I don't know. I'm looking into it. Um, and then Kenny from Royal Appleberry, she just recently bought a super cool mode uh, from this company who I'm already looking at um, to get a beveler and a planer because I keep having these edges. Uh, issues with the edges of my soap and I need to clean them up real good so I was already looking at them for that and then she came out with this psychedelic mold that is out of this world um, so I'm looking into that too because that eliminates a whole lot of other issues that I was already having with getting a mold from Brambleberry like you buy this part of the mold and this other part you buy separately and then you have to pay those high shipping charges because they're nowhere near me it's just a lot with me trying to shop with Brambleberry and I'm kind of on the fence and if I'm the type of person if I'm not 100% sure on what I'm doing especially when I'm spending my money I'm not going to do it uh, so that's that so if you guys know of a great place for me to get some fabulous mold uh, either similar to the ones that, I'm ha that I have actually I'm looking to upgrade my size uh, to something that's a little bit bigger so if you know of a good place where I can get such molds let me know in the comments okay thanks so much for coming out and hanging out with me guys uh, for all my old subscribers thank you for continue to come back again and again for my new subscribers stay tuned for more content hit that bell and until then bye